So today we will be exploring how you can improve the way you write code for your Android apps by leveraging data binding. Before we dive into the details, let's take a look what we are going to achieve today. Here is the current implementation of the drink suggester app. When the button is clicked, a drink is suggested to the user. So on the left side, there is a main activity. In this class, there are no find by id methods here and there are no updates for the progress bar as well as updates for the text view and finally there are no click listeners for this button here so how are the views being updated through the magic of data mining without any further delay let's get started here is the main activity code and we have layout views Okay, let's start with the view binding, which is a simpler form of data binding. To enable the view binding in the project, we need to add the build features in the build gradle. Go to the build gradle and now we need to add build features of view binding in it. Synchronize the project. Now that we have view binding enabled in the project, let's go to the main activity and check out the view binding. Once the view binding is enabled, binding classes will be generated for the layouts automatically. To get the binding of the activity main, it will be named as activity main binding. This is the binding of the activity main layout. Now we need to initialize the binding class with the activity here. So binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate. And then we need to call the layout inflator here. Binding variable is initialized here and now just we need to set the content view to this binding here. We need to get rid of this code called binding dot get root. So now that our layout is bound with the activity, now we can proceed with the removal of find view by id methods here. And now we need we just need to prepare these views with the binding here just we need to use this binding binding dot progress bar and same with the text views here binding dot text view and then we can use the listener here also now we can safely remove these variables here let's run the application at this stage and check our view binding working perfectly or not as you can see view binding is working correctly and we can see the text views being updated and buttons and progress bar are also being updated so now we can proceed with the data binding data binding is basically binding the data directly to the view model this layout data will be updated through the view model directly without using any updates in the main activity here to enable the data binding we need to go to the build gradle again and add the data binding in the build features now just add the data binding in the build features and sync the project again. Now that our data binding is enabled, we can go to the main activity. To make the communication between the view model and layout, we need to go to the layout file and add some changes there. We need to enable the data binding in this layout also so that we can update the variables in this layout right click on this base layout and click on show context actions here you can see convert to data binding layout if this is not enabled for you just go to the build gradle and see whether the data binding is enabled in the build features or not. Right click on the root element and click on show context actions 
and then convert to data binding layout so a new tag is added in the root element of the layout and then we have a new tags which is a data now we need to add the view model in this data tags how we can add the view model we need to add a new variable tag here variable and then add the name for that variable which is a view model and now we need to call the view model class in this tag main view model hit enter so the variable is initialized now now we can go to the main activity and now check whether we can update the variable of the layout which is view model hit binding and then we can see there is a new method automatically generated for our variable this will be named as set view model every variable that is added in the layout in this way it will be a setter in the it will be a setter in the bindings like so if we update the name of this view model here let's see we can rename it to the vm only now let's go to the binding here and hit binding dot set as you can see the variable name is updated in the setter also rename the variable name back to the view model and go to the main activity set view model and now we need to pass this view model instance in this setter here like so so the ne next thing is how we can update the text views directly from the view model so this is a very simple thing just we need to go to the text view which we need to update from the view model here is the text the text view is tv drink name so there is a convention just we need to follow up this one at curly braces and now we need to add the view model variable it view model dot drink if we check this drink again dot drink as you can see it is saying that from get drink of the live data so if we go to the view model we can see this is the getter of the live data of the get drink here so now as soon as we update this mutable live data the drink name will be automatically updated in this layout which is showing to the user so now we can get rid of this observable here just remove the observable like so another important thing that we need to note here is in order to observe the data automatically from the view model we need to add the life cycle of this activity here to the bindings it binding dot set life cycle owner so we need to make this activity as the life cycle owner of the bindings here let's see if the text a uh, drink name is being updated from the view model directly hit run app as you can see drink name is automatically updated directly from the view model hit the get drink button the text views are being updated automatically perfect now we need to update the progress bar in the layout which is this one so we need to update the visibility of the progress bar we will see how we can add the conditions directly in the layouts using the data binding first let's check what is the data type in the mutable live data of the progress bar 
we have integer right here but in this layout we need to check whether it is enabled to show the progress bar or not which is true or false which is a boolean data type so let's update the data type to the boolean from the integer here so just we need to update the post values right here to make the progress bar hidden just we need to pass false to show the progress bar to the user we need to enable it like true perfect now we need to go to the layout and add the data binding tags here right add brackets right here and now we need to add the conditions here it view model dot so this is the live data so in the live data if the value is true we need to make this progress bar visible so now here we need to make it visible else we need to make it invisible so another thing we need to add right here is we need to import the view class directly in the layout to add to import the view class add a new tag import and now we need to import the view class here hit enter now this view class is imported in the layout so we can use it in the layout if the progress bar is true then we need to make the progress bar visible we will use the view dot make it visible else we need to make it invisible now we can safely remove this observable right here now we can see the progress bar is showing to the user now the last thing is we need to add the listener for the button in the layout using the data binding so let's see which method we need to call when this button is clicked in the view model so in the view model we have this method right here when user hit the get drink button so this click listener is fired and then view model calls the suggest new drink so we can use this suggest new drink in the layout directly now add a new attribute in the button tag on click using the same convention of the data binding for the button listener we need to add a new convention like so now we can use the view model dot suggest new drink and now we can safely remove this method from the main activity let's see whether the application is working perfectly or not hit run hit the get drink button and now we can see the new drink is suggested to the user perfect that's it for today thank you for watching this tutorial on android data binding we hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights on how to leverage the data binding in your android app development projects if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more android development tutorials and tips thanks again for watching